On the 1st of May 2012, the Chief Justice of the Cayman Islands presented a petition to Her Majesty asking her to refer two issues to the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council for advice pursuant to Section 4 of the Judicial Committee Act 1833. The first issue concerned the extension of the appointment of a Justice of the Grand Court for the Cayman Islands. The second issue concerned the publication of a complaints procedure uh, in relation to the Cayman Islands judiciary. Both issues involved the interpretation of the Cayman Islands Constitution. After the issues had been duly referred, the Governor of the Cayman Islands made an application to the Judicial Committee to advise Her Majesty that it would be inappropriate to give a substantive advice on the two issues, primarily on the basis that those issues should be resolved in the Grand Court. This application raised a point of general importance as to whether the Judicial Committee may de decline to rule on issues raised in a petition referred to it by Her Majesty under the 1833 Act, and if so, the circumstances in which it would be appropriate for it to do so. The Board considers that it would be inappropriate for it to consider or resolve the two issues raised in the petition because those issues could be raised by way of ordinary proceedings in the Grand Court. The 1833 Act is intended to provide a mechanism to bring issues to the Judicial Committee which cannot be determined through the ordinary judicial process, and that process may only be bypassed in special circumstances. There are no such special circumstances in this case. The two issues can be considered by the Grand Court in the normal way. If the Chief Justice brings an application in the Grand Court, there is no risk of the Governor selecting a judge in his own cause because he would ask the Lord Chief Justice of England and Wales to nominate a temporary judge. If that judge's decision was appealed, there would be no difficulties in finding a suitable Court of Appeal panel. The fact that the two issues are of high constitutional importance reinforces the conclusion that the Grand Court should, in, should initially deal with them. The Board has regard to the views of the local court when determining constitutional issues which are brought before it from that court's jurisdiction. The views of the Chief Justice have been accorded considerable respect by the Board, but in this case his views are counterbalanced by those of the Governor, and in the end, the decision whether to provide substantive advice uh, remains a decision for the board alone. The possible saving of time and costs through bypassing the ordinary judicial process might have force in an extreme case, but this is not such a case. In these circumstances, while it fully understands why the Chief Justice has sought to bring these issues before the Judicial Committee through Section 4 of the 1833 Act, the Board humbly advises Her Majesty that this petition should be dismissed. The Court is now adjourned. <laughs>